guys, hope you're all well. Hope you're keeping safe and keeping happy. Um, we at Lantana are very excited about some of the books that are going to be coming out in spring 2021. There's books that are going to be catered for all different kinds of children um, and we hope that there is something out there that you can get for someone that you know. So let's go through the first one. So firstly we've got a book called Sunday Rain. Um, now this is more for the younger audience. It's written by Rosie Pover uh, and Amaria Rorsha and it's quite a short book um, and like I said it's for the younger audience and I read it to my four-year-old and he really enjoyed it. Um, it's about a boy called Elliot and he is inside his house which a lot of us are at the moment um, and he's looking outside um, and it starts raining but he has this kind of desire to to go outside but he's not sure whether he will be accepted by the children that are playing outside um, and he kind of feels a little bit shy and he kind of feels a little bit hesitant to go outside um, and so he stays inside but then he plucks up the courage goes outside um, and actually finds that all he needed to do was to get outside in the first place because once he's outside he actually has a lot of fun with some of the children um, and even though he's never met them before he ends up making friends with them so it's quite a nice book especially for children who might be shy to meet new people um, and kind of connect with Elliot and see if they feel the same way as him um, so it's really nice really short and it's bright and colorful as well so if I just open the book for you um, you'll see lots of pictures um, and some of the words are also kind of written in a way where they're curved and they stand out they're written in bold so you can really kind of talk the uh, talk your children through what some of the words mean next up we have Anita and the Dragons. Anita and the Dragons is written by Hannah Carmona and Anna Kuna. Um, now, Anita and the Dragons, when I showed it to my son, he was like, oh, I want to read a book about dragons. Let's read a book about dragons. Um, and then we started reading it and he realized that um, quite early on actually that the dragons weren't actually the dragons and dragons is used as a metaphor in this, in this book um, for um, airplanes. And what the story is about, it's, it's about a girl who lives in the Dominican Republic and she has quite a, a nice peaceful life there but she has this kind of, um, this dream that one day she's going to go to the dragons and she's going to become a princess. Um, and in the end, what that metaphor is, is that she will be going on a dragon, but that dragon is an aeroplane um, and she gets on that dragon and she becomes the princess, which basically means she goes to another country um, and she's in a new place and it's all about her kind of um, how she's quite scared initially of moving to a new place and how she's going to feel when she gets there. Will she be accepted? Will they kind of leave her out? Um, quite a nice, um, nice book there. It's not very long. Um, and it's not very difficult to read. Like I said, my four-year-old understood it. Next book that will be coming out is a short book called Escape. Um, Escape is written by Ming and Hua. Now, Escape, like I said, it is a, it's, it's, it's a story in itself, but it's actually made up of lots of different shorter like stories. The title says they are about people escaping um, a place for whatever reason. Maybe that, that place that they um, reside in is not safe or um, they're not financially stable in that place or there's some, some sort of war going on, some sort of danger and they have to escape. Um, so there are um, a few different stories in there all about people um, who have moved from one place to another. So for example, it starts off with a story called Kling which is about um, someone moving from Syria to Greece and then you've got another one called Dart, where someone moves from Mexico um, to the United States. And they've also got dates next to them, so you'll be able to see and explain what kind of um, the, the environment was at that time. Um, the stories themselves are quite short, so they fit onto one page, literally one paragraph, um, and so very easily understood, but they are accompanied by lots of images and lots of colourful kind of pictures to go with it. So you can actually visualise, the children can visualise what was going on. Um, and they're really nice stories um, that really help the children to understand this whole idea of, of uh, not feeling safe and becoming an immigrant in a new place and wondering whether you'll be accepted, like similar to the, uh, the story from um, Anita and the Dragons. Next two books actually come in a bit of a series, so I'll just talk you through both of them. Um, one is called Peace and Me, and one is called Science and Me. So if we talk through Peace and Me first. 
So both of them are written by Ali Winter uh, and Mikhail El Fathi. The, the title comes from obviously uh, the Nobel Peace Prize, where it kind of originated from, Alfred Nobel. Um, and some of the people who have won the award over the years and it's got a beautiful timeline at the beginning where it's very colourful and you've got kind of little boats uh, with dates on them as well as the names of the people um, who have won the award since it started um, and this book explains what these people have done. Um, you could obviously read read it to them and if they're younger you could explain it to them it's got lovely images to go with um with the story, the story itself takes um takes up just one page so again very kind of um easily understood easily digestible um accompanied by lots of colorful pictures the other one called science and me is also um uh, about people who have won the no uh, the nobel peace prize but this is more about the scientists and so what this one does, this one focuses on the science part of um, the Peace Prize, so people, the, the scientists who have won the award and what they did um, to aid the science um, and the learning and the knowledge of the world. So people, um, for example, like Marie Curie, and like you can see, accompanied by lots of colorful images. Um, and again, the stories take place over one page, so easily understood um and enjoyed so the next book is coyote's soundbite so this is a book written by john agard and piet groblin now john agard is a performing poet um, and i've seen him perform some of the poems that he has written um, and so when i was reading this i could hear the poem written, being read in his voice and it was really kind of powerful um, so this is coyote's soundbite and it is Quite a funny book. So this book is about the power of Mother Nature and Mother Nature is personified um, and brought to life um, through different characters and most of these characters are in the form of females. Um, and then you've got a coyote who basically what happens is that there is a conference that is happening where all the, the women who are, um, who are personified as the, the, the mother nature um, come together to discuss what's, what needs to be done, what's happening, what are the issues, how can they resolve the issues. And the coyote, who is a, a Mr. Coyote, who is the man, wants to attend this very important conference. Um, and he doesn't know how to get in so he goes home and he sees his wife's dress and decides that I, I'm, I'm so desperate to go to this conference that I will wear my wife's dress so he wears his wife's dress and he attends this conference um, and what this book does is it goes through each of the, the areas of the mother nature so I'll just show you some of the images that are in, in this book. So again, very bright, very colourful, very playful, um, and very funny with the images of Mr. Coyote wearing his wife's dress. And then you've got the conference where lots of women, lots of goddesses, come together and talk about their issues and what they what what the ultimatum is that they need to come up with a with, with some some sort of um, saying they want to come up with a plan how can we make sure that we remain the most powerful um, and it's funny because ironically it's, it's Mr. Coyote that actually comes up with a slogan for them a soundbite for them um, and his soundbite is earth lovers of the world unite mother nature is always right so this saying this sound bite becomes their kind of slogan um, and they're so happy with it and they're like so oh, thank you mrs coyote obviously we know that this is not mrs coyote this is mr coyote what makes it even funnier though he goes home and he wants to tell his wife what has just happened and guess what his wife 
did exactly the same, but she wore his suit and attended the same conference, but went to the male one, male one. And she had the same slogan as him. She said, and that's it. And that's a wrap for our books for the spring 2021. Hopefully you have enjoyed listening to what some of the books are about. Um, and feel free to, to drop us a line, give us a shout if you want any more information about any of the books and we'd be happy to help you. Thank you.